and welcome to Hogster's Happy Shutdown Kitchen. Today we're making Caldo Verde, which is Portuguese cabbage soup. Let's get on and we'll show you what the ingredients that we need. First of all, most importantly, cabbage. This one, I've got a white cabbage. I've actually nicked it for the neighbour up the road there. Uh, second thing, we need the tate. Now these are Maris Piper potatoes. Uh, they come from uh, the fields of earth, so they are cultivated to a high standard. These are of course Shield Hill carrots. The very best carrots you'll ever get in the world. Followed by Skin Flats leek. A Larbert onion and would you believe a Camelin three cloves of garlic. Now we also need some other wee things, uh, herbs and spices. One of the basic ones that you will need is the vegetable stock cube. You will also need some black pepper, some oregano or if you're an American oregano. We've got the garlic granules, we've got the paprika, We've got the greatest thing since sliced bread was ever invented, the aromat. And of course, we've got a couple of bay leaves that we've taken from the garden here. And we also need the olive oil. Now this has been freshly uh, squeezed by the peasants up in Muravord in the Black Isle. So it's uh, a very important olive oil. So, let's get on with the cooking. First thing we need to prepare is the vegetables. So let's clear this lot away because we'll need that in a minute or two. We start with the cabbage and we need to finely chop cabbage. So let's start with the cabbage. Take off the outer leaf so we can get stuck into it. We then cut it in a quarter because I think probably we'll only need about a quarter of the cabbage but we'll see how we get on when we slice it. So the outer leaves taken care of. So here we go, the cutting. So that's the cabbage cut. So what we do now is olive oil. So let's start. We put a large glug of olive oil into the pan, like so, and we add the cabbage. Now we do a finely chopped onion and the easiest way to do that is we cut it in half. We then place it down like that with our fingers out of the way. We slice in once, like so. Then we slice down like that. And repeat. We now switch on the hob, like so, and we add the onion to the olive oil, like so. And before we do any more, we need to add a few herbs and spices. First of all, oregano. A little sugar, black pepper, another big sugar, paprika, garlic granules, the aromat. And to coat my big pal, Sam the cooking guy, we start. Yeah. And we let that saute. We now add a few more vegetables. Let's start off with the tatties. Finely diced.
And now to the pan. We now do the same with the leek and the cat. All the ingredients for the soup are nearly ready before we add the stock, but we can't forget the garlic and the two bay leaves. We tip on the bay leaves, not just throw them in, but fold them up, crush them up to release the oils, then put them into your pan. Once they've done their job at the end of the cooking process, you take them out and you just throw them away. So that's two leek in. Finally chop the garlic. Give the sautéing vegetables a good start. Make sure they're all mixed up and covered. This will turn out to be a fairly pale soup. It won't have an awful lot of colour, but it will be tasty. Now we add the water, probably ooh, just to cover the vegetables. Should be enough. And now it's the turn of the vegetable stock cube. Take them out of their little packages. You could make your own vegetable stock, of course. And the other thing is, um, you could also use chicken stock if you fancied it. So just feel free to do what you want. See what's in your store cupboard. The other thing, if you fancied, making it a bit more special would be, when you're adding the onion, would be to finally chop up some herijo, which is obviously the, uh, the sausage that they have down in that part of the Mediterranean, uh, full of paprika, and that will give your uh, soup uh, a sort of reddish, reddish colour. And, before you can say Ian Kerr is a good golfer, just add it to the stock pot. Now, give it a good stir. And when you come back, that lot there will be ready. So the soup has been simmering away now for about 30 minutes, potatoes are cooked, carrots are cooked, the leeks are cooked, but before we do the finishing touching and the pouring, we take a little bit of the old curly parsley, give it a fine chop, just like so, scoop it up, tweak it in, get your ladle, Give it a quick tweak around like that. Make sure you didn't put your glasses too far in because you'll end up with, as Tina Turner would say, <laughs> steamy windies. Anyway, here we have the Caldo Verde or the Portuguese soup. Just look how good that looks. Pour it into your soup bowl, just like so. Serve. And as we say here in Karen, bon appetito until we see you for the next time, which I think is going to be a wee video about Ian Kerr's pork fillet. <laughs>